The Spordone family loves to celebrate Christmas. This is my favorite. But there's one tradition this family skips. Hugo and I stopped giving each other gifts years ago. Oh, I can't even remember how long ago. Instead, each year the Spordones donate to the Tablets Bright Christmas Fund. <laughs> Sophia and her late husband Hugo were the first ones to start the custom of charitable giving. Fifteen years ago, their eight children decided to join in. That's a nice picture of the guy. One of the siblings is Father Guy Spordone, who is the pastor of St. Francis Cabrini Church in Bensonhurst. We were giving each other gifts that we really didn't need, just buying a gift for the sake of giving a gift. So we decided that this would make more sense. Father Guy says the idea is so popular that even the next generation is joining in. The number has grown mm -hmm. in terms of who gives because now my nephews are old enough mm -hmm. and uh, they wanted to be part of this contribution as well. You know, it, it just evolved. It wasn't anything spectacular. Just Right, we used to do it so we could look at our names in the paper, in the tablet. <laughs> <laughs> Editor of the Diocesan newspaper Ed Wilkinson says families like the Spordones are why the Bright Christmas campaign is still helping kids across the diocese. Ed says he includes their story in the paper each year, not because of how much they donate, but what their donation represents. It's a story of people who are looking beyond themselves to other people, which is what you know Christmas is all about. To give back is just, it's the whole meaning of Christmas. Hope it makes somebody happy. I hope somebody will have a bright Christmas. In Bensonhurst, Katie Angusser, Currents News.